Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to be looking at an electrophilic addition reaction known as hydration. As the name implies, we will be reacting something with water, and this reaction involves an alkene with water, and it produces an alcohol. We add an H and an OH to each carbon of the double bond to produce that alcohol functionality. I want to compare this reaction to the addition of HX to an alkene. Here we add H and Br to each carbon of the double bond in a very similar manner that H and OH was added above, and this generates an alkyl halide. These two reactions both add H and something else to that alkene, and the something else comes from the structure of your reagent. In HBr, we're adding a bromine or any other HX acid. In H2O, we are adding H and OH. Now, the difference between these two reactions comes down to the strength of the acid. HBr is a strong acid, and water is a weak acid with a pKa close to 16. In order to get this reaction to go, we need to add a catalyst. Water is not a strong enough acid to have this happen on its own. So we add a strong acid catalyst. Typical acids for this are sulfuric acid, H2SO4, or nitric acid. In some contexts, you um, will see this written as H3O+, um, which as you may remember from your Gen Chem days, that mixing strong acids with water generate hydronium ion. Let's look at a few examples to better understand the stereochemical and regiochemical outcomes of this reaction. In our first example here, we have a monosubstituted alkene, one pentene. When we add water across this alkene, we can add the OH group to the more substituted site. Here it is secondary, and the hydrogens are implied based on the bond line drawings. Or I could add the OH to the less substituted site. Here it is primary. So these two constitutional isomers are possible from this reaction. It turns out that when you carry this reaction out in the lab, that this is the only product, our major product, and this is not observed. This fact that one constitutional isomer is produced in excess of the other means that this reaction is regioselective. We can also say that this reaction obeys Markovnikov's rule namely that the hydrogen has added to the less substituted carbon. We will be able to explain why this happens when we look at the mechanism in a later video. Before we move on, let's consider the stereochemistry of our major product. This reaction generated one chiral center, and if we isolate the product, we will find that the products isolated are a mixture of these two stereoisomers. So what is the relationship between these two stereoisomers that I've drawn here? They are enantiomers, non-superimposable mirror images. We have one enantiomer with configuration R and another with the configuration S. These are both produced in equal amounts, so this product mixture is racemic. When we carry out this reaction on one methyl cyclopentene, we also get two constitutional isomers, where the OH can add to the more substituted site, or the OH can add to the less substituted site. Given what was observed in our example of above, which do you predict is going to be our major product? The more substituted alcohol is our major product, but here we do observe minor amounts of the less substituted alcohol. And this demonstrates that the regioselectivity of the reaction depends on the substitution of the alkene. Here we're talking about a um, tri-substitute alkene where we have one tertiary center and one secondary center, contrasted with a secondary center to a primary center. We'll be able to explain this experimental observation when we study the mechanism and carbocation stability. In terms of stereochemistry, our major product is a chiral. There are no chiral centers present in that compound. As far as our minor product goes, we have generated two chiral centers, and both chiral centers will be mixed in our products. 
So we will actually get a collection of four stereoisomers, two pairs of enantiomers. Later, we will study the mechanism to further understand why the products are what they are. Thanks for watching.